Welcome everyone, welcome to this course on lean construction. When we designed this course, we looked at who should we design it for. And when we kind of sat down and looked at the whole picture, we said we have to design it for a broad spectrum of people because lean today is applicable at many levels, especially for the construction industry. We have designed some parts of this course for the undergraduates and postgraduate students in colleges and universities. And other parts of the course are designed for practicing engineers, not only at the site level, but also at an organizational or management level. So, when you look at the spectrum of this course, it has three parts. The first part is a basic part, which is more at a student level. The intermediate and the advanced part are more at the practicing engineers levels. But to appreciate the intermediate and advanced parts, you also need to know the basics. So, when we complete the full module of these courses, it will have about 30 hours of sessions which covers lean construction in its entirety as we know of it today. Now, going back into how did lean involve? So, when we go back to the evolution, we have to look at a little bit of the management science, how management science has evolved and this has a very brief history compared to other sciences and we will see that the Toyota production system was a significant milestone in the evolution of management science. The Toyota production system evolved out of automobile manufacturing and as we all know it has had a significant impact on other industries whether it is service industry or healthcare or information technology the concepts that evolved from here has had a significant impact. Now not only has the concepts of from TPS improved efficiency of processes or efficiency of these industries, but they have also brought in job satisfaction to the people involved. So, this is a holistic principle which looks at both the people side of things as well as the efficiency or the outcome side of what an industry requires. Now, the, this whole concept of TPS or Toyota production has been coined into this term called lean thinking and today we typically use the word lean to which embodies the concepts in TPS and more. Now, the concept of lean in construction has always been debatable because construction has been project oriented, whereas lean is from manufacturing, people say is more process oriented. But today we see that construction also requires the benefits of lean thinking, the application of lean concepts and the merging between the project and process oriented approaches to management. A lot of times we look at lean and we say it is common sense, but we all know that Common sense is not so common when you are in the thick of things and making decisions. So, how do you make a process? How do you bring common sense based thinking into the practices of every day? So, these are things that would also be covered. Now, when we look at how we are going to cover it, there is first there is a requirement of terminology. We all have to speak the same language. So, there will be a lot of emphasis on the terminology that lean brings in into management, the different paradigms which are required from between project management, process management as well as different ways of thinking which lean brings in including the concepts and ultimately the tools which are required to practice lean. A lot of this course, the first module specifically is on tools. Now, in addition to understanding what is taught in this course, one needs to practice to be able to refine things. So, especially for the practicing engineers out there, the tools we cover, we request or encourage you to take it into the field, practice it and bring back questions, bring back queries which we can then answer and then refine the practice as we go along. For the students who are in your classes when you go for summer training or when you get into industry, see how you can practice these concepts and refine them. Ultimately, we need a community of lean practitioners in our construction industry to be able to take these concepts, refine it for our industry and to reap the benefits of it. Again, welcome to this course. We look forward to interacting with you on all these modules and taking the practice of lean construction forward in our country. Thank you. Hello, good day and welcome to this video. I would like to tell you something about uh, project management paradigm, lean construction management. At this juncture in the development of our country, many infrastructure projects are coming up many large projects are on the anvil and there is a big spurt in construction activity. And our construction industry has to be really efficient and be on the dot for delivering the projects 
you know, with all the parameters, time, cost, quality and safety and so on. But unfortunately, what we find, the construction industry has a lot of problems. The certainty levels are quite low, lot of inefficiencies, wastage and so on. So much so that we are not sure about the proper delivery of our infrastructure projects. Compare with what is happening in rest of the world, the delivery levels, the efficiency levels are much better. So, in this context, what we felt is lean construction management can be quite a dramatic game changer for the Indian construction industry and somehow we need to make it popular here as it has been popular in other parts of the world. In 2008, several construction majors uh, got together and set up a not-for-profit body called ILCE, the Institute for Lean Construction Excellence with a specific objective of spreading the concepts of lean construction in this country, make our construction industry more efficient with less wastage and better delivery and so on. And it has been, you know, a, a start from that date. We had several illustrious construction majors such as Lassan and Tubro, Shapurji Palanji, Afcon Sinfra, URC Construction, Tata Realty, Godrej Construction and Arcop Architects all getting together and with IIT Madras as the knowledge partner. So, this body was set up and since then ILC has organized several conferences and either other events and with IIT Madras is developing this concept of lean construction in our country in a major way. And many industries, many, many, many construction companies have started picking up this particular concept and have started practicing lean construction and they have actually gained quite, uh, quite a lot in this practice. Recently, the magazine Construction World brought out a special issue on lean construction with many articles by, you know, senior people from the industry and what we had seen is that lean construction has really made a good foothold in the industry and people are reaping a lot of benefits and, you know, there is a lot of ramping up of the practices all over the country. In this context, this particular course of NPTEL is supposed to give you a good knowledge of the basics of lean, how lean can be practiced and then in the further other modules, you will get to know more and more about the new more additional nuances, the more deeper practices and so on, so that in the near foreseeable future, you can practice lean in a very effective way. So, get on with the course and have a ball doing lean construction. All the best. Thank you. Hi, I am Bhagya. I am a civil engineer by profession and I have been working in the Indian construction industry for the last 15 uh, years um, in the project management uh, segment. Um, I started off my career as a graduate engineering trainee in one of the leading MNCs in India. And uh, during the initial years, it's, it, we realized that apart from the technical issues that uh, we face at site, uh, there are also inherent systemic issues in, uh, in the process of construction, in the process of managing a project itself. There are a lot of waste, there are a lot of wastes, there are a lot of information flow gaps, there are a lot of coordination issues, which actually make this entire process of delivering a project even tougher. So during my uh, master, uh, post-graduation days at IIT Madras, I was introduced to the concept of uh, lean construction. And um, in fact, my MTech thesis was on the subject. And uh, since then, uh, we have constantly tried to explore the use of lean construction um, in our projects. Uh, one of an interesting uh, uh, applications that we did was to use one of the lean construction tools, the last planner system in uh, residential, uh, not, not residential, in a commercial um, uh, project in Bangalore. And uh, it turned to be a good game changer in, uh, for the entire uh, delivery uh, team uh, because once the implementation started, we actually saw a lot of issues propping up on the surface, the issues that we could have never um, uh, thought of or we would have never known more importantly existed uh, as clients. So we were on the client, I mean, I was on the client, uh, I was a client representative and we brought in a consultant to uh, mediate between or anchor the implementation because it's better to have an external agency to build faith 
or confidence among between the contractor and um, the other uh, stakeholders of the project so with that um, uh, implementation and uh, we immediately not immediately but we over a period of 3 to 4 months we saw a transition in the way people look at um, uh, issues right so when we make a 6 week uh, look ahead plan we real, the, the person who is actually passing the bill uh, a running bill realized that unless he does this work in couple of days time uh, work will uh, work my 6th weeks work or probably 3rd weeks work is going to Uh, get uh, hampered so that kind of visibility brought in a lot of accountability in and changed the behavior of many of the project stakeholders and um, so so i guess it's um, it was a, it was a wonderful experience for us uh, another uh, my message to the young professionals who are coming to the field would be um, that bringing in we all know that bringing in a change is difficult um and it needs a lot of effort and most of the time i personally go prepared uh with uh, <laughs> within mind that okay come on, I, i think it's it, i might not succeed there is an 80 percentage the chance that it will fail and only 20 percentage chance that it will succeed um so uh, while that is that, that is true uh, i guess we don't get opportunity to do an improvement measure and convince management for an implementation every now and then so uh, it's it's good to as a start it's good to have a implement a tool that you are confident on uh, and uh, show the results of the implementation uh, you personally have to drive it and show the results of the implementation to the management and to all stakeholders to get it convinced to to uh, to make them convince and uh, make them understand the process uh, and once it is done then uh, uh, have slow steps of improvement steps introduce interventions slow slower interventions add on new uh, things onto the uh, existing implementation and then look at the overall organizational uh, change cultural change that uh, lean is really about um that would be my message to the student to the young um, student community thank you hi everyone my name is devidat mishra I work in Atlantic Construction in the Water and Effluent Treatment IC, and we are involved in projects with the major scope of treatment plants, pipeline, irrigation canals, and the pumping stations. Now, the construction projects are often complicated with the scope of works spanning across the kilometers and areas, requiring coordination between multiple stakeholders. With the processes starting from clients, consultants, the prime contractor, subcontractors, vendors, and even a lot more. even within the prime contractor there will be different departments like engineering procurement and construction which need to work in a close coordination now what has fascinated me about the lean construction it has got techniques like integrated project delivery target value design which have a huge potential revolving around transparency open communication and a stakeholder engagement throughout the project's life cycle there are several reports which indicate that construction projects often encounter time overrun which further lead to cost overruns and sometimes certain socio economic issues as well now these time overruns are caused by multiple waste at site related to time transportation inventory amongst a few others lean construction gives us the planning techniques like last planner system with constant analysis where we can devise mechanisms in the project plan itself to deal with uncertainties and to eliminate the constraints with a very specific action plan and to utilize the learnings from the past lbms value stream mapping and the process maps where the entire work breakdown structure of the pipeline was micro fragmented and the cost and resource management was done according to the constrained nature of the job as an outcome we have realized faster completion times with a higher productivity rates ultimately leading to time savings there was a stakeholder engagement right from the top management the planning teams the execution teams subcontractors and down till the labor which had made the entire process transparent and certain times we got feedback which were very constructive from the labor which helped us to improvise on the process as a suggestion to the takers of this course i feel if you will be able to implement the concepts whatever is taught in the course in an actual construction site and then understand the real time challenges your basics will be even more clear we should always try to quantify the improvements for example percentage savings in time or percentage savings in cost reduction in the overall lead time in the specific activity where we are trying to implement the lean concept so it will be really helpful that once the lean construction basics are learned you also look out for digital and automated ways of implementing the same lean concepts thank you hi everyone 
I am Prabhu, working in planning team of LNT Construction, Heavy Civil Infrastructure IC. We are involved in the metro project which consists of underground tunneling and station works. Stakeholder management is the key skill required to handle large projects. In this aspect, I must thank the lean construction course which I learned during my MTech course at IIT Madras. The takeaway from the course are practically applicable at all construction projects. The constraints are identified through many brainstorming sessions such as big room planning and action plan is prepared and executed to remove them well in advance. In terms of implementing lean tools, Last Planner system has been implemented at the projects involving all the stakeholders of the projects right from customer, consultants, frontline engineers, subcontractors and foremen for planning the activities. Milestone plan and six week look ahead plan are prepared along with the last planners. At the end of every day, the progress is reviewed by the lean facilitators and reasons for non-achievement are recorded and necessary measures are taken to remove the constraint. Further, value stream mapping tool is also used in our projects and we have found good improvement in reducing cycle time of activity completion. In our projects, by implementing lean, we have got the tremendous improvisation in workflow and improved cycle time by eliminating waste in material, methodology and imparting lean culture. Using such lean construction concepts, we can significantly reduce all kind of waste prevalent in our construction industry. Thus, we could aid in elimination of natural resource wastages and the development of Indian economy as a whole. I personally recommend all the students and industry people to utilize this effective course which has so many benefits for the projects as well as the nation. Thank you.